Alright people, welcome back to Daily Duel. So this is actually post-commentary re-recorded. So, I recorded the episode of fucking Daily Duels. And then Camtasia and the mic decided not to work and it didn't record my voice at fucking all. Like, are you shitting me? Like, great. So, and it ended up being, you know, me actually talking and telling a story. So it's like, uh, well, I already have the duel video. I already have the video, so... Uh, pretty much what I'm planning on doing and what I'm doing right now is just I'm gonna go ahead and record, talk, audio. I apologize that I won't be paying attention to the duel, but you're not missing anything. Cleaves are strong, Scout is ridiculous, Towers is strong, Wings One Turn is dumb, and Cleaves, you know? So, you're not missing anything. Uh, I talk about that I made one change in the deck. What I made a change in the deck is, uh, I took out, um, the trampling, because I felt like it wasn't bringing anything, anything new to the table. You know, especially since I played triple stealth, I'm just like, what does trampling do again? Like, not a big fan of that. And instead, I wanted to go ahead and use a uh, pendulum impenetrable, which actually worked in the first duel because I go ahead and activate uh, scout, and then he tries on a C and I block. If I haven't reached that part in the video, then just spoilers, but you'll see it. Anyway, uh, I'm running two of those, I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and see this card, because generally I want to go ahead and protect my scout, because scout is the fucking core of that deck. And I also talk about, what if they ban scout? You know, if they ban scout and blast sacrifice the three, then how much different would the deck be? I don't know. But, uh, it just seems like scout is just like, the, the tits in that deck, you know? Like, losing scout, you know, you'd lose out on, you know, you wouldn't even run summer's art anymore, there'd have to be no point running summer's art. You're definitely much slower, much more inconsistent, you know. So I don't know. Just think, just thought, thought process, you know. And you know, what would you search for sacrifice if you go ahead and you know lose it? Then what would you search for? I don't know. This is all things that I wanted. To, I wanted to go ahead and think about, discuss. But anyway, I didn't tell by this video. This is actually a two-parter about my experience on my birthday. So of course yesterday with Tony, I was talking about my driving experience because I had to go and deal with the DMV and yay, fucking DMV. But. uh now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the party experience because it was my 21st birthday and uh, maybe it's different for you guys but here in the United States when you hit 21 you're an adult and I mean I, I consider myself an adult 18 but you're an adult and you can go ahead and uh, drink and gamble yeah you know it's kind of funny it's like hey when you turn 18 you can buy cigarettes and you can join the army but you can't fucking drink and gamble okay anyway finally 21 and uh, my friends wanted to go ahead and celebrate by uh, making me drink, pretty much, you know. And I have never drinking alcohol before, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the experience of it. So, where do I begin? Where do I begin? I told the story, now I gotta tell it again, yeah. Anyway, uh, we went to the store. We went to the store to go ahead and pick up the alcohol, and uh, my friend Renny, you guys know Renny, come on, you guys know Renny, you've seen top five, ton of live video, same house, so if you're wondering, like, hey, where'd you drink at, same house, on that couch that you see in the video of the top five, that house, yeah, uh, went to the store to go ahead and, uh, of course, get the alcohol and drink and stuff, and, uh, of course, my friend Renny knows that I have a very particular tongue, I'm very picky when it comes to taste, and generally, if I don't like the taste, I don't like the taste. I swear to God, like there are some things that people just love the taste of, and just like, nope, don't like it. That's gross, you know. So uh, things like coffee, I don't like coffee. I don't drink coffee. Don't like the taste of it. Uh, chocolate, I do not like chocolate. It's it's bitter, and I don't like it, you know. So uh, Remy, of course, knowing that uh, the majority of alcohol tastes nasty, he wanted to go ahead and essentially make me the equivalent of girly drinks. So uh, he was like. Uh, um, he wanted to make me this drink called Pink Panties. I know. I don't know. I don't know. But it was made with uh, one of those clear alcohols. Which, you know, I, I was just living up the fact that I could be in the alcohol area. You know? Like, I, 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 I'm a simple man. A simple man when it comes to things. I, I hit 21 and I just wanted to be like, like, I'm 21 now. Uh, who gives a shit a fuck about the drinking? Like, look. I I can stand in the alcohol area, you know, and I don't have to fucking move or do anything because I'm old enough to. When I go to casinos, I don't have to quickly dart through the freaking uh, slot machines and get to like my Panda Express that I have to cross through a fucking valley of slot machines to get to Panda. No, I can just fucking shit. I can walk around the fucking machines. I can sit down. I can play. I'm an adult. Hey, 
yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, there's this uh, place that's near my house, casino place or whatever, or, or, I don't know, I don't know, I've never been in there, it's called Dottie's, my mom likes to go to, and she generally goes in there, I think she plays slots, and she buys herself some cigarettes or something, I don't know, but I could never go in there because I'm not 21, but now I fucking am, 20 fucking 1, I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, it's like the simple shit, it's just like Daniel, you know, all those things that you can do, and you, oh, you just want to go play, you just, you just, you just, you know, you're just free from the rules, like, whatever, whatever, I do what I want, so now, I, I, that's what I'm more excited for, but, uh, the drink was made with a clear alcohol, so they were debating, like, oh, should we go with gin, or should we go with vodka, should we go with gin or vodka, you know, and, uh, I've heard of gin, but I know vodka, like, you know, that's, that's, that's an alcohol that's the big stuff, and I'm like, I don't want that big stuff, you know, I don't want to fucking die of alcoholism, yeah, I, I was totally ignorant about everything, <laughs> so, uh, essentially, he's on like a fruity drink, so essentially, he, they, he went ahead and grabbed some gin, and, uh, you know, Snoop Dogg equivalent, gin and juice, because essentially you're gonna put juice with the gin, and like, oh, it makes sense now, I understand this song, <laughs> So, uh, grab some gin, uh, grab some ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and, uh, uh, there's like them fucking, some fucking Minute Maid, uh, like, lemon, you know, you know those, those tubular juices that you make in containers, you guys know what I'm talking about, I don't know what to call it because I don't use them, but, yeah, that, you grab one of those, and, uh, yeah, that, that, those are the ingredients to the pink panties, you know. Pink lemonade. That's where the, the, the pink the pink panties come from. And the drink, I guess. I don't know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, he went ahead and drove back and then he immediately started making drinks, right? He just started immediately making drinks and experimenting with the various flavors. So he's like, oh, here, try this one. Here, try this one. Here, try this one. And for some reason, I'm not sure if he heard, couldn't hear me or not, but every time I was like, no, it needs to be sweeter. No, it needs to be sweeter. And he would just make it not sweet. Every time he's like, oh, you said less sweet. Like, what? No. So, every single drink he gave me just got more sour, more and more sour, more and more sour. Because, of course, it was pink lemonade, but it was pink lemonade concentrate, so that shit was sour. I was like, oh my, oh no, 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 no. It was sour. But you guys don't even care about that. You're hearing about the, how sour it is, because you want to know about the alcohol. You were like, Daniel, how does it taste alcohol? How is it? It was your picky ass tongue. How is it? It was gross. It was fucking nasty, y'all. It was disgusting. Alright? I you don't have to worry about me becoming an alcoholic. Fuck that. It was bad. Like, I don't know, maybe I need to get like a professionally made girly drink or get a wine core or something. Something like that, but it was gross. It was gross. Like, if you guys are not doing you want me to give you like an equivalent or something for y'all who are never drinking alcohol or not planning on to. It tastes like cough syrup. It tastes like cough fucking syrup. And you're like, what? Like you know, the stuff that I freaking take when I'm sick, when I have a cold, th that's what it tastes like? Yeah. It gin tastes just like that. Like, that's exactly what it tastes like. And I can't stand that taste. So it was already fucking going down the hill for me. I was like, eh, I don't want to drink anymore. Like, as soon as I drank the first one, I tasted it. I was like, oh, I don't know, I quit. I don't want to drink this anymore. But, I don't know, I pushed through. I pushed through, I must say. But, yeah, it, it literally tastes like, like, an example. You're sick. You go ahead and take some cough syrup because you're sick, but then you want to get that nasty taste out of your mouth, so you flush it down with something, right? Essentially, it was like I took some cough syrup and then flushed it down with a lemon, a pure lemon, <laughs> like, and it's like, blah, 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 blah. and and then he eventually made different drinks and he would mix it. And there was a, there was actually at one point where, you know, they put in like so much ice. Yeah, he put so much ice that all I could taste was it literally just tastes like ice water. Oh, ton of brain freezes, ton of brain freezes, because there's ice cream and ice mix it. Whew! Oh my god, like, hey, fuck getting drunk, man, fuck the brain freezes. I was like, ah! <laughs> but, uh, there was one drink that he made where the ice cream overpowered everything and it literally just tasted like creamy vanilla ice cream, but I guess, you know, that's not terrible. But, uh, it was just, it was just rough. It just tastes like cough syrup mixed with shit, you know? We actually eventually went back to the store and uh, picked up some Sunny D, because I like Sunny D. <laughs> and he started mixing it with that, and you know, there are times where it just tastes just like you took Sunny D and mixed it with alcohol, with, with cough syrup. You know, there was some time, there, was, there wasn't really a time where I could really taste the Sunny D. 
you know, it was either I taste the ice cream, I taste the coffee, or I taste the ice. But there was never a time where it's like, oh yeah, that's that's totally Sunny D. Like I swear to God, like if you would have told me, yeah, that's there's Sunny D in there, I'd be like, oh, that would shock the hell out of me. I was like, I don't, I don't taste it. I don't, I don't get where the Sunny D is at, not at all. But uh, continue drinking, continue drinking, and. Uh, surprisingly, I did not get drunk. I mean, I I don't know what my blood alcohol level was or, you know, how much did it take to get belligerent, but I was still totally coherent the entire time, you know, totally coherent. I, I sat there, I, I talked to people, you know. Uh, I'd say the major side effect that I experienced when drinking was that it made me super sleepy, like, really tired, <laughs> you know. Uh, like... Usually, when I chill with friends, we, we chill, we hang out, and I get sleepy, I'd say around midnight. Midnight, I'm like, alright, body's getting tired, mind's getting fairly sleepy, it's time for me to go ahead and go home and go to bed, right? Actually, you know, I took my, the first sip of the alcohol at 9, and at first, I, I felt, my body felt weird, felt like, oh no, this is, this is different, this is different, this is mm -mm. But then my body just felt sleepy. I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm, I'm, mm. you know. <laughs> All right, whole three hours difference. You, I, my body, as soon as I, uh, I drink the alcohol, my body's like, oh, what is it? Like, one o'clock in the morning, it's time to go to bed, <laughs> you know. Ooh, I was sleepy. I was like, oh, no, I'm sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I said the only thing that was keeping me really, you know, awake was the heat. It was really hot, really hot in the house. It was hotter in the house than it was outside, and I live in Vegas, so it was hot. It was hot in Topeka. Topeka is not in Las Vegas, if you're wondering. <laughs> that's, that's in Kansas. Like, uh, you guys know Fox Home for Imaginary Friends. If you don't, then I'm sorry. You didn't watch that show when you were a kid. <laughs> anyway. It was hot, and because it was hot, sweating, it was like 100 degrees. <laughs> it was the sun down. <laughs> With the sun down, it was like 100 degrees in fucking Vegas. Like, holy shit. And, uh... Besides, it kept me awake, it really did. It kept me awake, like, who was, like, cool and I was sleepy? I probably would've just curled up and went to sleep, but, you know, it was hot and sticky and, like, yeah. <laughs> it was a dry heat, but it was still a sticky heat. Anyway, uh, I was just, uh, it just made me really sleepy, really sleepy, and I was not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of it at all. So, like I said, I was still coherent, still, you know, talk to people, still chilled. Uh, I really didn't, after I, after I drank, I really didn't do anything though, you know, uh, I didn't play any video games, I didn't even touch my DS, I wasn't even playing Monster Hunter, by the time we started drinking, we were done playing Monster Hunter, so, for the day, so, didn't do anything crazy on video games or anything like that, didn't do anything embarrassing, you know, we're getting ready, it's like, oh, I'm gonna record it, and, you know, and it's gonna be funny, we're gonna record it, and we're gonna hold it over you, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fucking hilarious, I didn't do anything, but I did nothing that I normally wouldn't do, I know, I mean, I'm always belligerent when I speak generally, and I always say stupid shit, but, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, I must say, you know, I was, like I said, I was completely coherent the entire time, but, uh, I stayed up till, like, I want to say two, the two, I was just like, alright, now I'm sleepy, because not only I was already sleepy from, you know, the alcohol, but this is generally the time that I'm going to go to sleep anyway, because, like I said, I, I leave out about 12, drive home, generally watch some TV, and I'll be asleep by like 1 or 2 o'clock. Uh, I was, I was, I was like, it was 2, I was like, alright, I'm gonna go sleep, tired, but of course, uh, just, just to be safe, cause, you know, no drinking and driving, people, no drinking and driving. Uh, you know, I even, as soon as we were about to start drinking, I was like, give me your keys, give me my keys, you know, so I, I literally didn't have my keys at all, and it felt odd, it felt odd not having my keys, cause, you know, it's part of the Holy Three, you know? If you guys are wondering, like, what the fuck are you talking about the Holy Three? The Holy Three is your wallet, your keys, and your phone. You need your phone, so people can contact you. You need your phone. You need your wallet, because I can't do anything without my wallet. You know, especially, where am I gonna go? I need my driver's license. I need my money. You know, I need my wallet. And my keys. <laughs> keys is the last one, because I'm not gonna get very far without my keys, you know? The shit, let alone, you know, locking the door. I, what am I gonna do? Fucking break into my own car, or my own car, like, you're not gonna get very far without my keys. And please hope that you don't leave that key and lock your freaking house door and hope that someone's there, but generally, there's someone in the house, but, uh, do you need your Holy Three? And I was missing my Holy Three, so there's often times where, you know, I would reach for my keys or something and they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be there because I didn't have them, you know? But, uh, yeah, I just went to bed at, uh, Renny house, uh, and I slept, I 
Uh, you know what? I slept more than my usual time. I must say, usually I sleep about five hours. I slept for six. Whew. Rebel. I know. What? Six hours? Damn it. Wake your ass up. <laughs> so, I slept from like two to eight. Uh, I woke up, you know, I my mind my mind was definitely refreshing. I'm, I'm not sleepy anymore. But my body was so tired. Like I I if you could call it a hanger hangover, my body was tired. Like I didn't even want to get up. Like like you know, mentally I'm awake, you know, I'm totally awake. But my body was like, I don't wanna move, I'm tired, I don't want I don't wanna do anything, you know. And there was there's a couple of times, you know, especially uh you know, putting my clothes back on, you're probably like, well, what do you mean you took your clothes off? But, 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 I wear, like, you know, dress shirts and ties and jeans. You know, I dress, uh, generally I dress quiet, you know, upperly, like, you know, like, you know, I'd say, like, business casual, like, you know, I sleep in, like, undergarments. You know, I sleep in my underwear and my boxers and t-shirts, so, you know, well, when I was putting back my clothes on, Ah, my body, I, it took me, I, I, I must say, that was probably the longest it's ever took me to get dressed. Like, there was times I would just, like, put my shirt on, sit there, put my pants on, like, it took me a cool minute. And actually, when I actually got done getting dressed, I actually just sat on the bed and just stared off. Like, my mind was thinking, like I said, my mind was totally there. I, my mind was thinking about other things, but... My body didn't want to move, and it seemed like my, my mind was so busy thinking about other things that it just didn't feel like moving my body at all. It was just like, no, I'm not. This isn't even worth the time to move. No. So, there was a couple times I just sat there for a couple minutes, but ended up, you know, uh, waking up Rennie and being like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go. He's like, you're going to leave? Like, yep, 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 yep. He's like, you're fine? Like, yeah, I'm totally fine. Totally good. Just kind of tired. Yeah. But I, I didn't have time to be tired, so I gave him my keys, got back in my car, drove home. Totally fine. Totally fine, I must say. And uh, had to record for, you know, the missing mo di uh, daily duels on Monday with the courts on Tiago and all the videos for Tuesday because, uh, you know, it's Tuesday and I ha haven't had anything recorded yet. So I went ahead and re recorded and uh, eventually, after I got everything uploaded, like I said I was still tired, so I think about like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I ended up going back to sleep till like 6, but I ended up taking a nap. So, yeah, that was my first experience when it came to drinking on my 21st birthday. So, overall experience, I'm not too impressed by it, you know, like I said, I'm not sure if I did, if I drank enough to get drunk, but, you know, the allure of, you know, you know getting drunk, I, I don't see it, I didn't like the taste, and, or, you know, if it's just gonna make me fucking sleepy, uh, and if it's gonna taste a cop serve and make me sleepy, then I might as well just go ahead and take some goddamn night quill. So, <laughs> overall, uh, not too big on the experience. So, I'd say one of my friends from uh, middle school, old friend, uh, and I'm in high school, and we kept in touch despite, you know, graduating from high school and going to separate colleges. He actually often leaves uh, the state. He, he lives in, like, New York, but he always comes back and visits his family, and of course, it's me every single year, every single summer. And this happened to be the summer that, you know, we're both 21, so he actually wanted to go ahead and invite me to go out and drink, but, you know, so far, I'm not a big fan of drinking, but, you know, sure, go ahead. And then I say, maybe next time I'm gonna drink, just for the entertainment value, maybe get drunk and record some Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe do it a live stream or something, I'm not sure. Live stream sounds like it'd be a little bit different. Like I said, I don't know, I still haven't experienced getting drunk, but it seems like, when you're drunk, it seems like a live stream would be a little bit difficult to handle, so maybe just like a video or something like that, I'm not sure. But it seems like the entertainment value would be fun to do. But, uh, overall, just, nah, nah, not a big fan of drinking, so. There you go. There's my first time, my experience, first time drinking. So, uh, like I said, the video for the duel is going to be sped up with quite a bit because I think the duel video in the first video was like, I want to say like 32 minutes, but this one's clearly like 20, so but to speed up the duels a little bit. And of course, edit out, you know, the chunk where I continue talking with the duels over. So, I get the video anyway, but I apologize. And I said, I don't know what happened. Uh, I opened up Camtasia, it said that the audio was there, but then when I stopped recording, I heard no audio, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And uh, for some reason, like, the like the wire was like a little bit out on the microphone, just a little bit, just enough for it not to be able to connect and record. So I hope and pray to fucking God that it recorded this time, because I am not telling this story again. So 
Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So like I said, I apologize for the post commentary slash non commentary on the duel. Because, you know, I, I pretty much explained what I talked about. This clues are still a strong deck. You know, do they deserve to be him in the upcoming West Holmes? Most definitely they do. Because, you know, especially for a deck that's not getting any more support, like the deck is done, it's a little bit too strong at the point that uh, it is. And if they want to go ahead and promote any new Pendulum decks, they gotta move Cleans out the way first. Because still, Cleans are still the strongest deck. Uh, you can fuck your fucking pendulum magician. I don't give two fucks. Please, you're still stronger. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Burning Abyss. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.